Hello YouTube, it's Tyler Schultz again, and tonight I may seem a little tired because right now it is 11 p.m., but I do have school tomorrow, and recently in one of my videos I restored my iPod Touch to 4.0, and so now I normally use the iBooks application to read my eBooks in my language arts class, but unfortunately iBooks is not compatible with iOS 4.0. You must have 4.2.1 or above to use it. So that just kind of stinks. And so I basically need to go and restore my iPod so I can go and basically get iBooks. So to start us off, I'm going to have to first open iTunes. And then just wait for this to find it on the computer. Alright, so it notifies you, but if it does not notify you, you will need to click on your device and then click update. Now, what you may need to do is, if you have not already, sing, right click your iPod. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Right click your iPod and click transfer purchases or backup or both. I would prefer both. And so once that is done, you then click the update button. Then you have iTunes check for an update. And it set, found 4.2 as an update, so it is extracting the software. Now, if you have not downloaded the software, iTunes automatically downloads it for you. But my iTunes already has because I've updated a few iPods on here so oh no an error what do I do alright that may be because I am jailbroken so what I think I'm going to try and do is enter DFU mode so let's see here let's first turn it off otherwise I can use iRed but this is no probably because I'm jailbroken so, on 4.0, and so here we go, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, alright, we are in DFU mode, and so, now I'll just click restore, and this should have the same effect as updating it. There we go. Let's just hope we don't get another error message, which we shouldn't. And there's our Apple logo, so we should see the spinning wheel. There it is at the bottom. And now we have our bar going across. Alright, now iTunes is waiting for the iPod, and then it should start restoring the firmware. Now I have made another video about restoring your iPod, but that was mainly for restoring it to this current firmware or to your firmware that you've downloaded. But this is the simpler method that I've not gone into depth. There's not really that much to go in depth about. It's just for those first time updaters that are computer noobs or have never dealt with iDevices a lot. This will hopefully make it simpler. The main two pinpoints pin, uh, pin are one, to make sure that you back up your data before you restore it by right clicking the iPod and clicking transfer purchases and backup. And then number two, obviously click the update button. And then number three, you need to go and transfer the purchases back, which after this, I will show you how to do that.
looks like it should be finishing this up. And it'll say restoring iPod firmware, and then we should be done after it reboots. Alright, here's where it goes restoring iPod firmware or verifying it. We should be done at any time now. Yawn. Now keep in mind if you have a slower computer, this process, sorry, I almost dropped it. This process may take a lot longer. Alright, now we'll just wait for this iPod to reboot. Looks like iTunes has now detected it. Alrighty, now we can choose to restore it from a backup or set up a new iPod. Now, this would be the iPod. You would want to choose your most recent backup you just made. Mine, I do not really know when. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, yeah, I could actually, when was that? 14th? Oh, that wasn't that long ago. I could probably choose the 8th and it'd be perfect, but instead I think I'll just sync things to it manually. And I'll uncheck those, cause since I like manual. Click done. Alright, it'll ch apply those changes. And in the lower right, although you may not be able to see it, I'm clicking apply. Alright, now to sync all my data back, I'm just going to go and apply all. Okay, I'm going to sync these apps by checking those boxes. I want to sync my entire music library. I, I'll just sync a YouTube video, what the heck. Sure, all of them. TV shows don't have any of them. Books, I want to sync my books. All of them. Photos. Don't want to see my photos. And I do not want to worry about contacts. So now, again, in the bottom right, I'm clicking apply. And then, once I've clicked apply, it will start syncing everything to the iPod Touch.
slash iPhone slash iPad. Alright, now it's installing iBooks. Alright, now it's about to do my music. By the way, there's, these are some beast songs up here. Gotta yeah, love them. Now, do notice I'm only syncing about one gigabyte of data to this. So, if you have a lot more data, it will take a long, long time. Especially if you don't have an up-to-date computer like mine, it will take even longer. And if your hard drive is fragmented, you need to defragment it, otherwise it will take even longer. So just keep that in mind. There are a lot of factors that will make this take forever. And if you have not downloaded your restore file, from well, or if you have never updated an iPod, then iTunes will have to download that restore file, so that will take forever. Just remember that this process could take a long time. Alright, now I am done. Slash one lock, all my data is there. I have my videos, I have my music, and I have my iBooks. Yeah. So... Thank you for watching this video. I hope you understand how to re update your iPod slash restore it, even if there are errors, along with being able to sync and back up your data and restore to that data later on. So, thank you for watching this video. This is Tadish Update signing off.